Mm -mm. Mm. What's up, YouTube? As you can see, I'm just now waking up. It's a little bit rough this morning. B. Come on, boy. Sorry about the lighting. I know it's terrible. I'm gonna go ahead and get ready. I'm gonna shave and then I'll meet y'all uh, at the computer. Look and see what's on the to-do list. All right, guys, we're back in my office now. It is 7.55 on Tuesday. I actually have a call that's coming up in five minutes that I have to get on. Um, someone scheduled a call for 8 a.m. Yes, 8 a.m. But anyway, I'm gonna get on this call really quickly and then I'll catch up with y'all after to go through my schedule, my to-do list today and then um, we'll go from there. How's it going, gentlemen? Well, I appreciate you setting this up. Appreciate everybody's availability. <laughs> <laughs> it's good information. I really like having these calls so I can kind of set expectation with the candidates and let them know, hey, going through, it may not take the entire time that we have allotted for it. Um, it could be somewhat fluid, but these are gonna be the basic points that the, the team is gonna cover with you. But one of the main things that I kind of take pride in is trying to separate ourselves from the competition. Of course, there are many other organizations that are reaching out to these candidates also. Based on this response, it's just something new and different to him, so I appreciate that. Any questions or anything for, for me at this point or anything else we can go over? All right, y'all, just got finished with the first call of the day. Feeling a little bit more energized after that. As I mentioned in my first video, I'm a technical recruiter. I currently work for John Deere, so uh, the meeting that I just got out of was essentially we have a candidate that's going to interview and the team just wanted to align on what data points they needed to gather from the interview to make sure they're making the right hire decision. So it was a very uh, beneficial meeting. I'll go ahead and show you guys my calendar, uh, some of the things that I have to work on today. I have a lot to do today, so I'm really gonna have to get after it. Hopefully you guys can see this. So just had this meeting up here. The next meeting I have is at 11 and pretty much all these meetings are going to be uh, candidate interviews for different positions I'm working on. Uh, one of them has to do with software engineering. The other one's more like data science, data engineering. So that's what these interviews are. Um, other than that, actually before this 11 a.m. call, there's a few things I need to get done. I did make a couple sales on eBay. Uh, if you did watch, watch my first video, I do resell basically finding items for a cheaper price and then selling, me, selling them on a different platform for a higher price. So the main platforms I use are uh, eBay and Amazon. This is my reseller room. I had a shot of this in my first video. I'm actually pretty backed up on inventory that I need to send in to Amazon. Everything that you see on this side, um, I have to send in to Amazon. Everything you see on this side right in front of the shelves here, I have to list on eBay. And then everything that's on the shelves has already been listed on eBay and just uh, waiting for somebody to come through and pick it up from my store. I sold a pair of these uh, Converse here. I picked these up from Goodwill. They were actually having a grand opening for one of their locations. And there were a few items that had like specific stickers on them to indicate that they were free. And this was a pair that were free. Um, I sold these for about $15. And then these shoes right here, which I somewhat got attached to because they're clean. These Nike canvas. Um, I picked these up from Kohl's and I think Kohl's is a really great store um, just for shopping in general. But in addition to that, for somebody who might be looking at reselling, they have deals there or what they call Kohl's Cash. So Kohl's Cash is essentially their rewards program. It's a currency that only they accept and you can use based off of things that you buy, you will accrue Kohl's Cash. And so I had enough to pick up those shoes. I had them listed on eBay for $100, um, to be honest. I've seen them selling for that price before, but I also saw some data points showing that some people sold it for 70 bucks, 80 bucks, etc. I had somebody send me an offer for $50, and I wasn't inclined to take that just because of the selling history I saw on that shoe. So I went back and I countered that at $75. He came back at 55 at the same time that he sent me that offer. Um, I also got an offer for those Converse that I showed you. So with both of those combined, I was okay with taking both of those given that both of these pairs of shoes are free. So I went ahead and accepted those. So I'm gonna go ahead and package these up, head out to uh, USPS, drop them off. And then I have to go to the store, um, to the grocery store. Uh, I have no food in my house right now. So I have to do that. Then make it back before my 11 a.m. call.
All right, got the shoes boxed up. I'm ready to go. I'm a real big spinner and a big tip giver. Not a star right now, but I'ma be a big ticket in the coupe. Two seater, gas, check the meter. I just keep on going up and bringing everybody with us. It was me and Kid, both college kids with a passion. I done took a couple L's and learned a couple lessons. Had no money from the studio, back to the session. Mama calm with the plug, now she on my text. All gas, no electric, now she popping the test. All right, guys, now it's 9.07. Still have to run to this grocery store really quick, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I'll catch back up with you. I'm so motivated to see my dog getting better. Top down, I'll be driving for days. Back then, we used to steal on the K. All right, Tribe, we're back in the office now. Got quite a few meetings throughout the rest of the day. I'll be answering emails and stuff like that, so I probably won't be able to catch back up with you guys up until probably toward the end of the day. Hello, I was going to speak with Amy. Hey Amy, this is Justin with John Deere, how are you? Hey, is this Anthony? Hey Anthony, Justin, give me a call with John Deere, how's it going today? Hey, good afternoon, I was calling to speak with Ramesh. Hey Ramesh, yeah, it's Justin with John Deere, how's it going? Awesome, awesome. Hey, is this Lee? Hey Lee, Justin, give me a call with John Deere, how are you? All right, everybody, just wrapped up the day from sunup to sundown nonstop. I do have to stream in about an hour here, so I'll get that going. That'll be the last thing I have to do for the day. Um, but I appreciate everybody joining me today, kind of walk through day in the life of employee, entrepreneur, side hustler. There's a lot of stuff in this video that I wasn't able to go into depth on, but I am going to be covering a lot of things from uh, the reselling side of the house to investment platforms that I utilize in a lot more detail in future episodes. So uh, please go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. I don't know, I just did that really weird. Please go ahead, like, comment, subscribe to the channel uh, just so you don't miss anything. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one.